Santo Banjo, you already know. MMJ247. <laughs> this year, sorry, April 2019. So, and so, we're just getting there. So, oh, people often ask me, why do the houses have burglar bars? Because the windows are open. It's a hot country, so you always leave your windows open. So for security reason, you just have these bars um, in order to stop people from just walking into your house. So that's the reason why. So people were asking. So this is the yeah, living room. So these are the wires. Hello, my darlings. How are you? Thank you for working. You all right? So what are we doing? Um, so all the woodwork's been done. Obviously, the roof has been done. What we're doing now is putting up what here's called the platters, but in England, we call it the ceiling. So this is what these guys are doing. They're doing all the coves and the alcoves um, and putting them up. So this is the living area. This will be the living area when it's done. And that leads into here. Imagine the doors have been done. Into a kitchen diner area. Now for me, I'm a modest lady, so I just wanted a simple lighthouse. So this is the uh, kitchen diner area. And uh, that's the story. And this is the back door, which isn't open at the moment, but which will be all of my lovely fruit trees and my swimming pool, so I'm gonna have a pool. But let me show you the bedroom. So this is a four bedroom house. And um, I've gone for the open plan look because I, I like, I'm an outdoor person, so I probably won't be spending much time actually in the house. Uh, I'll be spending a lot of time outside the house, probably by the pool or even in all of these beautiful natural areas around here. So, but I'll show you the first bedroom. So this is bedroom one. Now you see what I was saying about the bedroom bars when you leave the window open. You've got here, so you've got security, but there's still air coming in. This is a very cool, the ensuite bathroom for bedroom one. At the moment, it's going to be quite dark for you to see. So it's just a room. This is area two. This is the, sorry, area two. Do you hear me? Example of the windows being open for air. And then, and then also they have on these things which are called nets. So they prevent any um, insects from entering into the house, as you can see. They find it quite hard to enter in uh, through, the little, um, through the little meshes. So um, this is the ensuite. Shower, toilet, ensuite for bedroom two. This is the guest bathroom. And this is the guest bathroom, which will have a shower, toilet, and, and sink in there. And um, also, uh, probably a small bidet. there. And this is uh, the guest bedroom. Which is bedroom three. So they're fairly nice sized rooms as well. But, and imagine what for one thousand eight hundred. The fact that it's worth between six to eight thousand now is that a good. Is that is that a good good profit margin, isn't it? Yes. Really? Yeah. So and putting a house on it, of course, exponentially increases the value. So this is um, the master bedroom. And the master bedroom. Hey guys, I'm filming. You have to be quiet for me a minute. Okay? Thank you. So, um, this is the master bedroom, which of course is the biggest bedroom, which of course is mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the view. Imagine waking up and, and seeing that. And people have talked about why do you have walls. People have walls because they're compounds. But as you can see, you can stand up and look over the wall. So, it's not like you're in prison. Uh, this is a country location and it's a provincial location. Anyway, so much nature in this jacuzzi bath in it, um, and the shower unit. 
and a toilet and um, basin and that all important um, bum wash. <laughs> yeah, got to have one of those. But yeah, this is uh, the inside of the house. And then, of course, the whole thing is surrounded by the one passageway and back into the open plan living room. And I'm very minimalist, so there's not going to be very much in here except for maybe a television and a couple of so uh, sofas and maybe one coffee table. So you'll have enough space to, to run around in and be, and be comfortable. And also, there, there will only probably be one dining room table. So I'm going for the minimalist effect. So it, it'll be comfortable and um, it'll definitely be home uh, here in Gambia. And the price, people have asked me, you know, how much have you paid to build? How much have you paid for this? We're actually still working on those costs because we're actually still building. So I can't give you a full cost because we're still paying as we're going, uh, as you pay as you go Africa. <laughs> but what I can say is if you're going to look at building, you're probably looking at between, um, between 150, depending on the size of the house, up to 300,000, depending on the size of the house. Um, if you're working with local builders uh, as opposed to contractors or you can work with a contractor and of course for those assurances and guarantees you can um, pay a little bit more. Right. And so this area is going to be like a sort of chill out area around the side. So we're going to have a thing called a banter bar. Not very popular in England because you don't have the sun I guess. But a banter bar is like a bar area outside, so we're going to have that here, there. And then, this area, this whole area, from there around there is going to be a swimming pool all the way down to here. And then here we're just going to have some plants, which we're going to have um, around the front as well. We're going to have our mango trees, our, our coconut, um, our palm trees. Um, orange trees and so on and a pool, a swimming pool. So the pool will probably come up to about here from, from that wall all the way across. And uh, what that is, you might be asking me, what is that structure there? That is our borehole. So we actually get our natural water from inside of the ground. So when I was talking about um, um, uh, people drinking desanitized water, this is what I was talking about because you're going through sewage when you drink. There's obviously a lock on it and a cap, so I can't actually show you. But that's just because we're not on the property at the moment. And that's the pump down here. But the, the water comes from the ground. So you're actually drinking natural mineral water. You're not drinking uh, reflushed toilet water that has hormones and uh, medicines and pharmaceuticals in it you're actually drinking fresh, natural groundwater. And that's really important. So this will actually serve the whole house. And so it's important. We're also gonna have solar panels on our house. So we're not gonna, we're gonna be off the grid. So we'll be relying on the sun for our energy. And we're gonna have a barbecue area, which is gonna be around the front, which we're going to depend on um, in order to cook our outdoor meals and to have lots of fun, because we're gonna have lots of parties here. So yeah, if you're coming home and you wanted to see, you know, actual build, um, we're going through the process. So we're just showing you what it's like. And also, like I said, you can choose the kind of roof you want as well. So you can reduce the price of your build. So yeah, this is, um, wow, it's been an amazing day, just out in the sun, out and about, <laughs> black sit. And I want to go through the other points. So I'm going to quickly pull out my phone because I wrote notes for you. See, I've been doing preparation. And, and these notes are based on, um, these notes are based on the fact that you've asked me questions. And so I'm trying to answer all your questions. And so what I've done is I've created a five point plan. And so that's what I did. So the first point I shared with you out front was you must go see, very important. Uh, the second is research everything that you need to know. So research building materials, research the area that you want to live in, research the business that you want to do. Now I've got a lot of businesses to show you and so just bear with me. Every time I put out another um, vlog, we put out another vlog, Blacksit vlog, it'll be sharing um, another aspect of life here. 
And the third point I put is do a budget. Do a financial plan and a business plan based around your business. So say, for example, for us, we went to see and we realized that retail business is booming here. So we decided that we wanted to do a shop. But we also realized that we wanted to do import export and we also wanted to do consultancy. So those are the areas that we wanted to do. What was a consultancy we wanted to work on was looking at potential development areas and also tourism businesses. So you, while you're here, living here, you can also be doing that uh, uh, you know, very important feasibility study. Um, that's really important. And then four, go back again. So you've been, you've seen it, yeah, you've fallen in love, you, you know, that was your romantic or if you like Afro-romantic trip. Now when you go back, you must have practical um, eyes on and then you do your costing. This is when you do everything, you look at estimates for everything, uh, you meet with your builders, you, you look at various plots of land. So th this is what I would do, or you go and look at houses that you're potentially going to buy or you're going to rent. Uh, you look at vacant shops or if you're going to do a workshop, for example, you fix cars, uh, then you look at workshops where you can put that workshop, for example, or if you want to go and do sewing here uh, and you want to make bedding or what have you, then, you know, you look for that all important place where you can go and do that and the kind of staffing you can get and support and you look at salaries, you look at practical aspects of being here. So um, that was number four, I think. Go back, see again. Oh, yeah, and I just said look at, com yeah, and I also look at the conversion, look at your currency conversion, and look how far your pound or your dollar or whatever currency you have goes. So um, another thing is always, 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 you know, keep your connections that you've made here and keep in contact with them. Very important um, so that you keep that ongoing relationship so all the work you've done isn't lost, so you don't have to come back and start again and you can't remember where they live, you can't remember where they were, you can't remember their number, you haven't got their email address. So keep everybody's contact details. And five, um, before you go, obviously if you're coming here to stay, make sure you've renewed your passports, you've got a few years on it. Um, your visa, uh, when you book your flight, uh, and when you arrive, you um, organise your residency and your work permit. Um, your driving licenses and they're all very simple to be honest with you very simple quick and easy to do here where we did ours uh, within a few weeks and so you know you give yourself time to acclimatize into the environment so don't start work straight away actually give yourself like a two-week holiday and um, explore the country and here in Gamia there's so much to see so um, yeah those are my five points I hope you like them uh, Juliet uh, saying smash that like button Ah, <laughs> yes, I haven't forgotten. And um, saying thank you to everybody for continuously subscribing and watching our videos. Please share as well. So, Black Sit family, big love. And um, I'll see you on the other side.